Hi guys, welcome back. So in this lecture, we will understand how does routing works in MVC. Now to understand how does navigation flow in MVC projects, we need to have an idea about how a routing engine works in MVC. So without wasting much of time, let's move to Visual Studio. And this is the application what we have been working. So let's run uh, this application first and let's see uh, where we were uh, in our previous lectures. So this is the application what we have been working and uh, Whenever I click these links, just uh, have a look in the URL uh, what's being displayed above, right? So if I click about me, you see this home and uh, about. So it's calling the home controller and the about action. Similarly for ring me, it's calling home uh, controller and contact action. And this is the link to my new page. And it calls the new page action method of the home controller. So let's go to Visual Studio and see from where this uh, URL is coming from, right? So let me go to Visual Studio. And let me first stop this application. So if you remember in uh, our first lecture, I explained you about the global.asx file, which uh, calls this filter config method and uh, sorry, which calls this route config method and calls this register routes method and it register all the routes, right? And from where this register routes method was being called from the route config class, right? And you can see here, there's a route that is being mapped here. And what does it say? It says that my URL pattern should be controller slash action slash id now let's ignore this id for some time and you can see there is a defaults also being uh, mapped that that is the if i don't pass anything give me home controller and index action okay so let's try to run this first and let's see how does this work right so if i'm running this i'm not passing anything it takes me to the uh, index action of the home controller and if i say about so it goes to the home uh, about action of the home controller now let's do one thing let's stop this application and let's change this out config right so let me make this as about okay and let's try to run this application and it gives me about page so similarly if we change this to contact it will take me to the contact page as the default right now let's understand what this register routes method is doing basically it's registering the routes collection right we uh, there is a collection uh, of routes and we are adding this uh, we are using this map route method to add to this collection add this route to the collection this routes collection okay that means if this is a collection we can define many more routes right which suits account, uh, which suits our requirement now before i add any more route let me change this action let me make this as action and let me make this as controller okay let me stop this first so what i have done is basically i have redesigned uh, redesigned the route url right now if you remember i have also uh, have a test controller which has a index view right so what i will do is basically i will first redesign the url and then i will make this as test and make this as index okay so my default should be test controller and the index method url should be method first then the controller and then the id right let me save this and run this and let's see what happens so you can see uh, this is the test page from the test controller that means my default is being taken that is it is calling test controller and the index page of the test controller right now if you click in the contact me page you can see the uh, redesigned url also right so it's listing the action first and then the controller so in this way we can design our urls or we can say we can customize our urls according to our needs now let's try to add some more routes into our application so let me stop this first and let me paste some code for saving some time so what I've done here is basically there is a route class and I have instantiated that route class uh, route test route equals new route so name of my object is the test route and I have passed some constructor uh, some values to the constructor of this route class which will further customize my route right so first let me make the change to this now the default route says that my URL should be controller slash action slash ID and my new route says that my URL should be dot net school slash controller slash action 
and let me also change the default so the default should be home slash index right and let, let's try to run the application and see what happens so here it is so my application is up and it has taken me to the index page of the home because it was the default route but whenever i go to about me you see this the url this is the url what i have registered first right so it says that uh, url is dotnet school slash home slash about similarly for contact the url is dotnet school slash home slash contact and similarly for the new page also now let's see what happens if i remove this dotnet school from here okay so let me take out this dotnet school and let me take out this https let me go to the about page you see this even without dotnet school my application is working fine so let me go to visual studio so we have two routes here both of the routes are working perfectly fine that means if we define two routes both of the routes will take the necessary url what you have defined in this route config class similarly if i copy this and paste a new route i will say this as new dotnet school stop this application let me run it again say some build error let me make it as test route 2 test route 2 let's try to run this again so i have got a exception again what is this exception it says route name new route is already in route collection so i should change this also to new route 2 because uh, in the collection the same name routes cannot exist okay so this is new route and this is new route 2 right let's try to run this again now so my application is up again the default is home slash index so it's in the home page let me go to about me it says dotnet school slash home slash about now what was our first route so our first route was dotnet school slash controller slash action so it is taking by default this route right so even if i make it new dotnet school and take out this HTTPS part even that works fine right now let's do one thing let's stop this application let me uh, let's cut this and paste it before this route okay and let's try to run this again again my default is home slash index let's go to about me you can see the new dotnet school is here right so whichever will be the first matching route that route it will take if it does not find the matching route it will go to the below route that's been defined right and whenever it does not match any of these uh, custom defined routes it will find the default route okay so let's stop this application and let me comment out these two routes what we have defined and after these two commented routes let me paste some snippet here now if you look carefully what i am doing is i am mapping a new route and i am giving it in name as constraint default right so basically what i am doing here is i am giving a constraint to this route okay so the url should be controller slash action slash id the default should be home slash index but there is a constraint here that my route should only go to the new page or the about page so let's try to run this application and see if our route works so yes it's working for index also it's working for about also it's working for ring me also right or contact also so why this is not my constraint is not being applied so i will just explain you this by applying three points let me stop this application and let's try to run this again okay now the moment my mom the moment my application boots up the first breakpoint hits it registers this route then when we move it forward it registers the other route as well and this is the reason why our route constraint is not working so what we need to do uh, do for making it work is basically i need to remove this route right so now i just have one route defined and try to run the application the default is home slash index and i might get a 404 error yes uh not 404 but 403 error, right so let's try to go to the route what we had right so my route was about 
and let's see if this comes up yes it's working fine what was my other page that was allowed that was linked to my new page what was not allowed was contact so whenever i click it it won't navigate to the contact page similar for the index view also it won't navigate to the index view so i have defined a constraint and it is working well now there is a concept called as attribute routing which says that we can define the routes on the attribute level and also we can put any values onto the routes so let's see what is attribute routing so to use as, uh, attribute routing first we need to have this statement it says that whatever the route let me map some mvc attribute routes right so this is the method which helps us to use the attribute routing after this we need to move to the controller where we need to pick a pick a action uh, for which we need to map the route right so you can see i have used a attribute which says that my about page is the home page so let's change this to some meaningful thing so that you can don't get confused so i will say about dot net school also let me remove these constraints for one moment so that it won't interfere with our concept so here it comes so let me say about me and you can see the url it says about dot net school so what i have done here is basically i have put some new values using the attribute routing okay guys i hope you understood today's lecture we have covered a lot of ground today we have uh, learned how to add new routes add new constraints and attribute routing so that's it from today and please do subscribe to the channel thank you so very much